All right, let's continue on. The next question asks whether when is for what x values is f of x smaller than or equal to 3? Well, now I've highlighted where it's smaller than or equal to 3. So um, right here, I just I should have actually drawn up uh, y equals 3 again. But I'm really looking for the y values, the floors that are underneath 3. And so that occurs from here to here. That's my first piece. That's minus 2 to 1. Um, here, 1 is included because the y value at 1 is 1, and that's under 3. And everything after 1 is also included because it is at 3, and it's asking where it's less than or equal to 3. This hash mark means equals. And then again, I have everything from 2 to 3. So everything from minus 2, you see that I had an open hole here for a second? Well, I'm just going to cover that up because it's covered by this part. So minus 2 to 3 all the way. And we write it like this. If you're using WebAssign, they'll want you to put it in like this. I actually prefer this because it's, it actually tells me it's all x's between minus 2 to 3. I like to read it that way. All of these are shorthand. And so it's just up to the user to decide what they prefer. What's domain? Domain is the answer to the question, what are the x values that can be taken on legitimately? So if you look over here, um, this is a misleading kind of question because the way Stuart has drawn this is it is only valid in the little frame that he's drawn. So he's done what we call a restricted domain. So um, it's the graph starts at around x equals minus 2, and the graph ends around x equals 4. So it's the window size that you're looking at if you're like may maybe thinking of squeezing and cropping a picture. That's the window size on the horizontal view. So that would be minus 2 to 4. Um, we usually don't use restricted domains, um, in, uh, actually. And when they just ask blanket what a domain of a function is and they give you something like f of x equals x squared, the, it's really the answer to the question, what are the x values of x that can be taken on legitimately for the maximum size window that we possibly can? So I hope I, I didn't confuse you. because I do have to explain this because this question's a little different. Um, there's no missing y values. So what do I mean by that? Um, I don't have any holes or anywhere where I have to break up. It actually has some drawing from all the way from minus two to four. So this is how the book would want you to insert it in. This is my favorite way to describe uh, something is minus two x is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to four. Um, and this is an approximate. Your problem is actually has actual values. I pulled this again from somewhere on the internet. Range is what the answer to the question, what are the y values? How many floors are covered by my graph? And so to do that, I just look at the floors. So definitely the zeroth floor is covered. Nothing below the zeroth floor is covered. Um, if I keep going and start drawing horizontal lines, all floors from zero to five are covered. And so it might not be covered by this side of the graph, but this side of the graph covers up to floor five. So Elevator, my elevator goes all the way from floor zero to floor five in this graph. Or as um, Stuart or WebAssign would want you to plug it in, it's um, zero with a square bracket because zero is included up to five. The last question is on what values uh, for what intervals is F increasing? And I actually had forgotten to do that, but it's increasing when the elevator goes up. And um, it's going up from 0 to 1, and it's going up from 2 to 4. So we would say it was increasing. You just look at where the elevator goes up. Here the elevator is going down. And the elevator now, think of a roller coaster. So the roller coaster cart's going down here. And then from 0 to 1, it's going up. So 0 to 1, it's going up. And then it stops. And then again, it goes up starting 2 to 4. 2 is not included, and 1 is included. So here we would write, for the last part, there's a lot of little questions here. We'd write from 0 to 1 with a u from 2 not included up to 4 included. So that's where the roller coaster cart would be 